Check My Config is a tool for validating .NET config files. It can detect broken connection strings, missing files, unreachable URLs and several other types of problems in your web.config or app.config file. In this short video I'm going to give a simple demo of how we can use Check My Config to validate that a .NET configuration file is correct. In a real life scenario you could have dozens of different settings in your application's config file. If any of these are incorrect, it could prevent your application from working properly. For this demo, we're going to use a simple .NET Windows Forms app with a small number of user-defined settings in the config file. I've started up Check My Config by clicking on the shortcuts on my desktop. If I click the Open Config File button, I can browse to the folder containing the config file for the application that we wish to check. Check My Config will now display the raw contents of the config file on the right hand side of the screen under the Config File XML View tab. This is similar to what you would see if you opened up the config file in a web browser. On the left hand side, in the tree view, we can see that it has identified two different custom settings within our config file, in this case both located within the App Settings section. If I go ahead and expand the File or Folders node, I can see that we have one entry, in this case named Quotes folder. If I click on this item in the tree view, we can see that the relevant entry is highlighted in the XML view on the right hand side. We can also see that we have another setting within our config file, a web service URL. In the tree view, we can see under each setting node that there are a number of possible checks that we can perform for each setting. In the case of a config file setting which relates to a file or folder, we can check that the file or folder exists as well as verifying write permissions. You'll see that we have a different set of checks that we can perform with a web service URL, which include making a web request to determine whether the web service is up and running. By default, Check My Config will perform all available checks for all settings. However, you can override this by choosing only certain settings, types of settings, or types of checks. I'll now kick off the checks by clicking the Check Config File button. After a short delay, we'll be presented with an HTML report which details the results of these checks. We can now see that the tree view nodes have turned green or red depending on whether any problems were found. I'm going to click on the entry for our web service and we'll see that the report under the results tab has opened automatically at the relevant section. We can see here that three checks were carried out, all of which were successful. For some of these checks I can drill down to get further information. In this case I'm going to click on the HTML heading which shows the response that was returned by the web service. We can see that everything appears to be in order. The test page for the web service is being displayed. So we can be pretty confident that this web service setting will work correctly when we run our app. If the host was offline, unreachable or misspelled, Check My Config would have detected this for us. However, Check My Config is telling us that the other setting, named Quotes folder, has problems. I'm going to go ahead and click on this node to see what the problems are. In this case, there are two problems. Firstly, the file does not exist. And secondly, obviously, a file that does not exist cannot be written to, unless, of course, you're going to create it on the fly at runtime. Looking at this setting, I can see that the associated value in the config file is C quotes backslash quotes.txt. I'm now going to see if I can troubleshoot this problem. Using Windows Explorer, I can see that there is a directory in the root folder of our C drive called quote. Notice the missing S, whereas our config file expects a folder called quotes with an S on the end. If I rename that folder to what it should be, I can then run the checks again to determine whether the problem has been fixed. Let me try and do that right now. Now 
This time we'll see that the node for the config setting turns green and if we drill down in the report we can see that the file is now in the expected location and the right permissions have been verified. So there you have it, a simple example of how you can use Check My Config to verify that the settings in your config file are correct. This can save you a lot of time when deploying a complex app or troubleshooting an app that is already installed. For more information, visit us on the web at www.checkmyconfig.com. Thanks for watching.